Hi, um, I'm Hannah from Kashula Powerhouse. I'm one of the facilitators here. Um, and today we're gonna make something really exciting and messy. Um, we're actually gonna make salt dough. So, first things first, we need some flour. This, just plain old flour. We need some salt. And that can be um, just cooking salt. So I'm sure you got some of that at home. And we need some water. That's all we need to make this. And if you want to, you can actually add some coloring to it. And we recommend doing food dye because it won't stain your hands. But if you don't have that, that's okay too because you can just paint it afterwards when it's all dry. And we need your measurement spoons. So we have a cup, half a cup, three, one third a cup, and one quarter of a cup, but we only really need the half a cup and the cup, and a big bowl to make the mess in. So that's what we're doing today. So first, I always recommend that we um, start with the salt and the water, because then it dissolves a lot better. So we need one cup, of salt. So if you can see it here, I'm just going to add it. One cup, or roughly one cup. It always works out anyway. Like this. And let's put that in there. And then your water. And we also need one cup of water. So we'll put that over here. And what I recommend is, we'll put that in here for now. Okay. Hope you can see that in there. Like that. And I'll just grab a spoon and we'll mix it a little bit. Ooh, I just started making it pink. That's all right. That's because there's, there's a bit of dye on my spoon. But what I recommend is that you stir it just for a little while so the salt um, starts dissolving because otherwise it might go really coarse when you play with it afterwards. So here we go, let's just stir it. See there's still quite a lot of salt in there. That's not dissolved yet. I was always told to stir in a number eight. <laughs> you don't have to do that. But you can if you want to, just to get everywhere. Now, with salt dough, it's actually really, really similar to Play-Doh. So um, the difference is that you can bake it afterwards if you want it to go really hard. Um, so you can put it into the oven at about 200 degrees and just leave it in there till it goes really hard. And then you can paint it if you don't want to add color to it from the beginning. So um, I sometimes use this if I don't have any clay, for example, and I want to make some sculptures. So I would make a lot of this dough just to make little sculptures with. You can make little people, like small people, and just construct with it. It's a little bit gooey, but you'll see in a minute when we finish making the dough and you'll get a sense of how it actually works. So what we need next is our colors. Now, as you know or may not know, there's like three colors. There's three primary colors and it's red, blue and yellow. And you can use those colors to make most of any other color. So you might want green. So you would take blue and yellow. Or you might want purple, and you would take red and blue. Or you might want orange, and you would do red and yellow. And then from there, you spread out to all the other colors. And then you start mixing them. But for the purpose of this exercise, I think we should do 
orange. So we'll tip a little bit of red in here. Oh, look at this. Wow. You might just want to stir that a little bit and then some yellow to make the orange. We might have put too much red in, but we'll see. It might just be a very red orange. Wow, look at this. I'll put that there. Show you. Look at this. That's a pretty orange. So we might put the rest of the yellow in like this. And it goes a little bit lighter. So we used the yellow and we used the red to make the orange. And look at this orange. Isn't that pretty? So now that we stirred for a little bit, I think we need to add the flour. So what we'll need is just plain old flour and we need two cups. So here's one. Put it in there. You can give it a little stir now actually because it'll go really slimy. Have a look at that. <laughs> it's almost like baking. If any of you like to bake. And then we'll do the other bit of flour. So another cup. Oh. There. Doesn't matter if you get a bit too much. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we'll do some more mixing here. Some people like to stick their hands in right now, but if you stick your hands in right now, you'll get really sticky. So I'm going to keep stirring with my spoon for a little while. Now it's nearly the time to get your hands in there. And if you feel it's really sticky, you might want to put some more flour in. So I might do that because if you have a look, it seems quite sticky. So we'll put that down here. We get a little bit more flour. Just a sprinkle like this. Put that over here. And now I might stick my fingers in there. And when you do this, it's a really good idea to get right up on the edges. Have a look. Like this. So that you get all that flour off the side of the bowl. So when you feel it doesn't stick to any of your fingers, you grab it, tip it out on the table, maybe get all the rest of the bits off the sides, put it away. And then you can just knead it on the table. This. There we go. Look at this. It still feels a bit sticky. <coughs> so we'll just keep going. Some people like to stand up and do this. Because you got to use your muscles. As you can see, it's not really that sticky anymore, so it's really nice and smooth. This there we go, and as you can see, we made quite a lot just with two cups of flour. It makes a great big blob. If you wanted to um, make two different colors. You could have split it in half and just done one color, let's say blue or purple or whatever you like, and the other and the other blob a different color. It's still a bit sticky, but that's all right. You can always get a little drizzle. Like this. Just be careful you don't put too much in there because then it goes way too dry. So a little bit at a time. Look at that. What a pretty color. It's almost like a peachy color. So now you can build things with it. You can squish it. You can try and stretch it a bit. Look at that. <laughs> you can basically do whatever you want with this. And it doesn't really stick. 
see, it doesn't stick to anything. So we might, I saw we had a little teddy up here. So we might just have a look at this. Isn't that cute? You can build something like this. So we might just get a little blob, roll it. Yeah, it'll be a bit bigger. Like this. Get some legs. He's got chubby legs. It's a chubby, chubby teddy. Here's the other one. I think he's gonna go turn into a little blob. Little blob of a teddy. <laughs> Here we go. Some arms. Might want them a bit longer. Maybe he's hanging on to his legs, like that. Move him over there. Like this. Like that. Oh, he's got long arms. <laughs> Super cute. So we'll give him a head. his little belly. That's so cute. And some ears. And then you can um, you can leave it out to dry. There's one ear. But it will take you maybe three weeks. It takes a long time to dry. Or you can put it in the oven and it will go hard a lot faster. Or you can just squish him up and make a new one if you don't want it to go hard. Put a little nose. Oh. Like this. How cute is he? Now he's got a friend. There we go. And that is it for today. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>